Okay, welcome to the channel. Now, if you haven't seen one of my other videos about a uh, £4,000 hi-fi versus my vintage setup and what the sound differences were, I thought uh, there is a link at the top there if you want to go and see that. And this is pretty much the second part of that video, really. Uh, I'm not really going to talk as much about it, just my experiences of walking in the hi-fi shop and uh, why I think maybe that uh, you should maybe pop in to your local, if you can find one, uh, hi-fi shop, rather than going on eBay and Amazon, all that kind of stuff. If you get into into i5, if you get into it, the very first setup, uh, you've got to have a reasonable budget to walk into these shops. You're not, you're not going to walk into these shops and pick up something, you know, for the kind of price ranges I've got here, you know, 200 quid or 300 quid or something like that. You're not really going to get much walking in there. You're not going to get a setup really uh, walking into the i5 shop for that, that's for certain. But if your budget's around the thousand pound mark, as I think Riga do, a little setup for a thousand pound. And, and depending on what hi-fi shops you go in, some are a little bit more higher range in the tier. You may get uh, some of some of the Marantz amplifiers that start for about 350 quid, something like that. Uh, like I say, the Riga, I think it's the Riga IO, I think it's about 420 quid, something like that. So them kind of high shops are about. And you may get the ones that are just a little bit higher that, uh, you know, maybe the, the budget amplifiers, 900 quid or 800 quid, something like that. So they are about, you know, kind of a little bit of a, little bit of a tier difference maybe in some of the i fi shops. But I will try and visit a few as it happens. I've kind of got the bug now. Uh, not that I know many really around here and that, but uh, that's the thing. It's, you know, is it worth visiting these i shops, i fi shops, uh, you know, i fi little setups or whatever, uh, listening rooms, whatever you want to call them, demonstration rooms, all that kind of stuff. Or should you just bother, you know, shoot off to eBay and uh, Amazon to... Uh, because they're probably going to be a little bit cheaper maybe on there. Um, or you may want to buy a second-hand one off of eBay or something like that, I don't know. But we're going to talk about new, really, rather than the second-hand, so we'll get that a little bit out of the way. Uh, and um, like I say, it's, you know, these days, I think a lot of these places now are pretty much on par to what you can buy stuff online. I mean, years ago, it used to be totally different. I'm going to tell you very... I've got full of stories, but I'm going to tell you a very, very quick story if I can. I used to work in a audio-video shop, but mainly TVs they sold. They did sell records, record players, all that kind of stuff. And this is uh, local to where I live. And you could bet your bottom dollar that every item in there, uh, if we're talking about TV-wise, would be at least £50 dearer than you could buy anywhere else, literally. I mean, there weren't internet and all that about then. I'm talking about when I was uh, 18, 17, 18, something like that. So it's many years ago now. Um, that's, where I'm, that's about 1979, 80, somewhere around there. Uh, yeah, you, you have Selfridges and places like that probably and all that, Demlums, all that kind of stuff, Curry's, Dixons and all that. And uh, when I first walked in, you know, you know, obviously you look around the shop and everything, and I was, I was into stuff at the time, like I say, I was used to buy related stuff and try and get into stuff, whatever I could afford, obviously. Um, and I look at the TVs and record players and all that kind of stuff, but mainly the TVs, this is what I'm trying to get at, is that uh, they used to be £50 dearer, and then back then £50 would have been a lot, you know, at my particular time it's probably half my wages kind of thing, uh, extra, so if you compare it to today, probably £150, £200 extra for most people. Uh, than a normal shop and you think oh but, well, you know how can they do any business i thought right last year though well, i didn't because i moved on there anyway but ain't the last year this shop's gonna go bankrupt kind of thing you know i mean who in the right minds buying this and it's a bit like um though they've come down there lewis um what's it called i forgot you know up london i forgot the name of the shop now um anyway they they, they used to be a bit dearer but they've kind of come down to uh, you know what the kind of prices is everywhere else these days but uh, I asked uh, one or two customers, because we used to go around their house and to repair their TVs, there used to be a few valve sets, transistor sets were just coming in kind of thing, the latest Sony Trinitron, it was only a portable, and I remember the engineer calling us over, because uh, he opened it up and it was just absolutely packed with electronics, they just about crammed, it was just bolt after bolt, they just crammed so much in there, he couldn't believe it, and he turned and said, this is going to be a nightmare to repair, uh, uh, repair. Uh, consider, you know, compared to these old valve sets we had and etc. So that was a kind of turning, you know, when it was just turning point there, and that's when I was about in that shop. And I spoke to a few customers as I went around the hours in that repair. I'm not that I did repair, I was just helping the repair man, taking him around there, carrying his tools and learning a few things as I was going along. Not a lot, to be honest with you, but I was learning a few little bits, because when you're young, you kind of like mess about, you know what it's like, didn't you? Um, anyway, I talked to a few customers because I'm always inquisitive and I said like, you know, why do you come here kind of thing? I'm not trying to lose customers, but just like, you know, and they all said it was the service. It's the service. And um, like I say, this shop up London, Lewis is it, or whatever, I can't remember the bloody name of it now. Um, big shop. But they've come down a bit, like I say, but uh, my auntie used to go around there and places like buy stuff and uh, people say it's the service, it's the service, it's the service, it's the service. And you can't really put a price on service, I suppose. So they was willing to pay 50, 100 pound extra for the service. And now... 
there's this relates to the i5 shops well you're getting a service there you're getting no service off of amazon ebay places like that where we buy it and like i say these these shops now are on par they, they know there's competition they're on par with what you could buy on amazon and all of that so it's definitely worth going in there because you're getting the service afterwards it's the after service you may get a year's guarantee on the item you buy off of amazon for instance but uh, in my experience i bought a few things off of amazon i'm sure there's other people as well uh, it comes with a year's guarantee and all that, but uh, I've had a few bits. After one month, or just over a month, I went to return it, and you can't return it. Now it's your job to get in touch with the manufacturer and sort it out. They don't want to know. They've sold it to you. Good luck. You know, After a month, it's down to you. There's a couple of items there that I had that uh, I had to sort out with. The, and one of them I didn't bother, because you think, oh, I can't be bothered. That, you know, I'd rather buy another one. It wasn't that expensive. So, um, yeah, at least with an iFi shop, you can go in there and plonk it on the counter and say this doesn't work within the year and they're going to sort it out for you, you haven't got, they're going to send it back to the manufacturer all that, you haven't got to worry. So you've got that bit there that's worth, you know, it's, it's like peace of mind, especially when you're paying a lot of money. Like I reviewed, like I say, I reviewed, I touched on a £4,000 system. You wouldn't have spent that kind of money online. It's all aggro posting it, is it going to get lost in the post and that where you can plonk it on the counter, give it back to them. And that's their problem. So that's one thing I think you know it's definitely worth walking in that hi-fi shop. Now the second you know it's quite a few. I'm going to talk a few things where I think I'm not being biased here because you know I went down to see Kevin at Signals. I will put a link down at the bottom there. There's a fantastic shop for it. Got three demo rooms there, uh, two small ones in a massive big room there. And uh, in them demos, like I say, give me that four thousand. But did give me give me a demonstration of four. Well, she did give me that system, a four thousand pound system demonstration, and uh, we went on to um, another amplifier. And I forgot the name of it. I put a, a, a note down. Well, actually, I've got it written down here somewhere it's before uh, I put notes down. Do excuse me. I'm going to jump on my phone because uh, it's written down on here because uh, my memory is useless. Not unless I've got it sitting here, and I'll soon remember if I've got it sitting here. That's for certain. Uh, a 250 grand M. I won't forget that in a hurry. But um, yeah, what we got, we had the, uh, it's a named ND555 streamer power with power supply into a name statement amplifier and Dyn Audio Confidence 60 speakers. Uh, and all that tops up to well over 3,000, 3,300,000 pound. Um, yeah, so I didn't really have a great listen to that. I think I listened to one track, to be honest with you. And it's in a big, it's got a big, it's, I think it's an old church or something like that. The actual place where this sci-fi is. I could be mistaken. And I do apologise to Kevin and Signals if I've got that wrong. Um, yeah, a big room. Not a room that many people in the UK is going to have. Uh, you know, people with plenty of money. People ain't even watching this channel. Um, but um, yeah, so um, it's a different experience. because It's a bigger room, bigger sound, bigger sound stage, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to touch on that at all, really. But, um, you know... You can go and listen to that, you know what I mean? You're not going to listen to that on Amazon, that's for certain. But uh, what I think, you know, going back to why you should go in these i fi shops, you're going to get the service. You're going to, not going to worry too much about the guarantee. And in most of these i fi shops, if it goes your unit goes wrong within two or three years, five years down the line, all that kind of stuff, they usually know someone, I've got an in-house engineer, that can mend things for you. So you won't be running around trying to find something. You can go in there. Obviously, you've got to pay. I'm not going to do it for nothing. But, um, you know, depending on what i fi shop you go in, some will look after the customers more. They, you know, won't probably charge them some more. Maybe try and upgrade or something like that if it comes to that stage. So, um, you know, they're all driven. I can't speak for every single one of them. I'm not here to advertise uh, Kevin's i fi shop, neither signals. But I know, is it, uh, you know, what I think is that uh, if an i fi shop's within a mile, a mile, within an hour or so, because it, it was an hour to get down there, and it's well, well, well worth my visit going down there for the hour. Well, that's for some. Um, if you've got an i-fi shop within an hour's drive you may think oh i can't be bothered trust me go down there it's well worth that hour because you're going to get there you're going to hopefully have people that know their stuff now kevin in signals you know i've known kevin a while now he knows his stuff and you're going to go in there now i know a bit i don't know as much as kevin but i know a bit enough hopefully to give you an idea what these sound like i've said it before i've only been ends up with no expert just my opinion but Kevin's going to talk you through things. He's going to give you some advice, and it's going to, and it is impartial advice in that shop. I can tell, I can tell people, and that I, I think I'm a pretty good judge of character in that. And Kevin will give you. you know, I'm talking about signals here, but so hopefully other shops as well will give you that impartial advice. You're probably going to get some shops that's going to lean in to sell you something. Uh, we can make more profit. Let's be realistic. But uh, I, I can rest assured that Kevin, you know, is, is really good down there, 
and uh, he's going to give you some impartial advice, steer you in the right direction, put it in for your budget. I'm going to give you one word of warning here, though, is uh, when you go in these i fi shops, I'm going to get it out of the way, it's, uh, and we spoke about it as well, me and Kevin. People come in, and I've read it on forums and everywhere else, people come in to spend a thousand pound, that newcomer comes in, over that thousand pound, he's got it in his pocket, he's got it on his credit card, that kind of stuff. Uh, for his setup, and uh, it's easy to get carried away. I did it going down Dixon's one day. I went down for uh, uh, an air, air, air I, uh, A fever used to suffer with. I get it, I still get it here and there. Purify, air purify. I'll never forget it. Me and my mate talk about it now and again. And uh, I'll start anything. I'm going to go and get one for 20 quid. That'll do. It does the job. And, and, and then courage, they have them all lined up from 20 quid up to 200 in, in stages. And uh, you can't go, that's all right. And, you're walking along the line and I think I walked out one for about £160. So it's amazing how that happens and that's what happens in these iFi shops. So you go in there with a £1,000 budget and before you know it you spend three and a half grand on the old credit card. Uh, it can be like that. So just be like a little bit of a word of warning and, and whatever but you're, get, you're getting what you pay for obviously like you know what I mean. So you're not being dead up. It ain't been a free card trick and the bloke's had you over. It ain't that kind of thing. That's one good thing. You, you, you're getting what you pay for. So even if you did spend that kind of money it's going to last you a lifetime. You know, going back to that £4,000 system, I would not want another system. I'd be happy. I wouldn't be thinking about upgrading. I wouldn't be thinking of tweaking and that. I'd be very, very, very happy with that system. It fit, you know, if my pocket fitted that. But anyway, that's another story. But uh, yeah, like I say, you're going to get that impartial advice to steer you in the right direction. And a lot of these shops, uh, they actually uh, not so much deliver. They, you know, they, they, you can ask them to come around and set it up for you. And, and Kevin says he goes around a few houses and does setups and obviously when you buy stuff from there etc i don't know if they charge a charge for that or not i don't know but um, it's probably something i would imagine it probably comes in free if they're getting their commission etc at uh, the sale they're going to come around and give you some advice in your room as well something you may have not have thought about etc obviously you can take it home yourself and set it up yourself but that is another part of that service that uh, you, you may be paying a premium for but i don't think you are these days i think it's pretty much the same as like i say that they keep on par price wise of everyone else so um, it's kind of like a bit of a free service there because anything goes wrong any advice you need you can't go on amazon you can ask and try and type in does anyone know this and you're trying to ask someone else you can keep going back to the hi-fi shop you're their customer and they're going to look after you so um, yeah it's definitely worth going in for the experience you can Get a demo of a few different you know different setups you can you, you probably got a book I'm, I'm, I'm guessing a bit most of these things these days you've got a book an hour or so or a couple of hours uh for a demonstration room they've got three in that particular shop some have only got one some have got two like i said i'm talking about every i-fi shop here even though I'm, I'm mentioning signals a few times um they're gonna have you know a few setups you can try something you like but it's going to give you some tips that means kevin had them speakers towed in exactly like just i just noticed a little bit of a toe in there talk to him about that and that and you can pick up lots of different advices, advice, and then if you pick up a system, they're probably going to throw in a few leads for you, a few nice leads as well to go in that system. So, you know, I think, you know, it's worth going maybe an hour, maybe even an hour and a half, make a day of it, shoot, you know, maybe to another local town you haven't been to for a while, a couple of hours away, you know, have a little midday meal or something, pop in the shop and that, have a discussion and that, and uh, and whatever like that. So I, I definitely think, you know, I'm, I'm certain it's definitely worth popping in to uh, an iFi shop, something I haven't really done for absolutely ages. I remember you used to go to AT Labs years ago in Ilford, uh, and that's long gone, that's long gone, that's a nightclub now, and I used to uh, sit in there and listen to a couple of things and that, and I forgot what that experience is all about. And um, yeah, you know, it's, de it's definitely worth an experience. You're gonna see other stuff, and, and they're gonna give you a few, you know, little demos of other bits and pieces, but just be wary, they're probably gonna spend a bit more than you wanted to at the time. But like anything else, you, you're going to get what you pay for. And uh, yeah, I think it's definitely a worthwhile experience. So that's it. You know, that, that's, that kind of wraps up this video. I wanted to talk about popping into uh, an iFi shop. Is it worth it? And uh, yeah, I, I definitely think it is. You know what I mean? I, I'd put, you know, I'll say I'll strongly advise if you're thinking about getting a new stereo and you're going to spend that kind of money, maybe three, two, three, four grand, something like that. Or you may be lucky enough to spend more. But you're not listening to me, that's for certain. It's definitely worth going in there and, and getting that impartial advice that after sales care kind of got your arm around you they're going to look after you now you're a customer of them and they're you know obviously going to hope like any business that you're going to pop back and maybe upgrade in the future etc and they're probably going to take in your old equipment as well uh, a lot of places these days sell second hand you know they buy your old one or trade it in upgrade etc so um yeah i think it's definitely worth you know rather than looking around on ebay and that if you're looking uh to buy something brand new it's popping into the iFi shop but obviously if you're buying all this uh, cheaper stuff here like me and that and then obviously the places to go is eBay and places like that.
Uh, until the next video, I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.